cheesiest episode of The Button. So this will be fun. You know, what, what are we talking? Cheddar? <laughs> Gouda? <laughs> now that is a YouTube intro. F*** you. All right. Cheesiest episode of The Button. I feel like this kind of reminiscent of the way we do our titles here. You guys are usually witnessing a love story on The Button. Dad chaperone their daughters, not cheesiest episode of The Button. That's what I do. So maybe I'll name mine, Singles Try to Find Love on Speed Dating Show or something like that. I'm not ripping on their the, the way they package their videos. I'm just saying. If you're gonna jock my swag, I'm jocking your shit right off. If you're gonna jack me off, I'm gonna jack your shit right off. It's a jack off jack world out there, all right? Hold each other's hands if you both are comfortable with that. Okay. I want you to say you love each other. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was made in partnership with Pizza Hut's new Valentine's Day app. What? You guys got a fucking Pizza Hut deal? Oh my god. That's awesome. What the fuck? A little free promo for you there, Pizza Hut. Call me. Call me, Mr. Hut. Give me a call, because I love your product, and I would love to promote it for money. Are we starting? Yeah, you're on a date. Okay. Oh, actually, I have my own promo to do. <laughs> and that'll go right now. Cody'sRunClub.com if you want the hoodie. Came out on Thursday, just a reminder. Hey, um, what, 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 what is your name? Peyton. Gabe, what is your type? Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson? You so, kind of look so, like him. Really? Yeah. No, he doesn't, first of all. Second of all, I don't think women are really gravitating to him because of his looks. No offense. I mean, he's not a bad looking guy. He's a unique looking guy, but I think they like, I think they really like his personality. So I feel like that's kind of like a low key, like sort of like diss there, you know? You kind of look like him, but also he doesn't. I uh, get that a lot. The like skinny, white yeah, guy. Yeah, sickly, really low BMI. Peyton, when we asked, why are you single? You wrote, guys suck. Yeah, they're just the worst. You know, I have some flaws. Why are you single? Either I'm too ugly for, for the girls that- I got some flaws! We know about flaws on this channel. Trust me, we know about flaws. We know about flossing daily to protect your gums. They go for it. Or um, uh, right. too uh, unavailable. What do you mean too me. unavailable? Like you just don't respond? Um, my type has always been girls that don't like me back. You're perfect. <laughs> I feel like they're, uh, I don't know. Like, this is like funny. There's the conversations is funny. They're funny flirting. I'm enjoying it. Each other. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm sorry. So Pizza Hut has their goodbye pie. Can we get our delivery man in? No one out pizzas the hut. <laughs> hey, it's Jesse. What the hell? You picking up shifts at Pizza Hut now, dude? It's like the Bachelor, but the opposite. Goodbye. <sighs> Davidson and she's definitely not like that. Oh. Do you think giving her that pizza made that rejection a little bit easier? No. Hello. Hi. Lily. Nice Let to me meet stand you. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Do you think this thing that I'm saying to acknowledge the brand that paid us money for this brand in it? No. Gabe. Gabe. Nice to meet you, Gabe. Yeah. Did, um, did she say, like, anything bad about me? No, she there? didn't. Okay. She didn't say anything bad. What is the loneliest that you have been on Valentine's Day? I'm not usually lonely on Valentine's Day. Have you ever was... had a Valentine's? Nope. <laughs> Both of those were crazy ass questions, weren't they? What's the loneliest you've been on Valentine's Day? It's just, it's just a very negative framing, is it not? That just implies, oh, I know you've, huh, I know you've probably spent many a Valentine's Day alone, milady. Trust me, I can tell. You give off that aura. And then I kind of like how she followed it up with, have you even had a Valentine's? Just straight up, any, like just one. How old are you? 23? So that's 23 times you've experienced Valentine's Day. Has one of those ever been just filled with someone else that's not your mom? No? Word, just making sure. Hello? Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I'm down. No, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm easy. I mean, I'm down for whatever. Breakfast, coffee. We can do, I mean, I'm down for lunch. We do like a late lunch. If you're feeling a late lunch, or like I'll be down for dinner, apps, drinks. Uh, we can do dessert. If you're feeling dessert, I can do a little dessert. Ice cream. Uh, I mean, fuck it. I mean, or we just go out just for like church, maybe Sunday service. 
I'm down to wait till Sunday we can hit a little service. You wanna hit a little service? Racquetball? What are you feeling, badminton? I'm down for whatever. I mean, I'll do volleyball. You tell me, let's go fucking rock climbing. Let's go fucking bouldering. <laughs> no, I'm fucking beach walk. I mean, equestrian, fucking let's play polo. Uh, no, for real. No, 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 I don't own a horse, but I would. I mean, we could rent one probably, right? The point of that exercise, guys, was that I wanted to demonstrate how important it is to be flexible. You know who allows you to be flexible? Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. You know what's truly flexible? All the website templates on Squarespace. They have a ton of professional website templates with designs for every category and use case. You can customize the look of your website, you can update your content on there, and you can add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do whatever you want, so your idea, brand, or business will stand out online. If you're interested in learning more, and helping out this channel, by the way, just go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Co to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the video. I have never dated officially. So never been in like a relationship? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, that, that's just a big one for enough, me. Fair enough. But you could have taught him so much. No, I'm not here to teach. Not here, mm, I'm not here to well, teach, I'm sorry. I'm here to learn. Sorry. Oh, okay, so I get it? Yes. Yeah, Good luck. Yeah. I hope you find a Valentine's. <laughs> yeah, sure. Did that feel bad? Not too bad. Hi. By the way, am I kind of behind on this? Have I commented on this? They added like a little LED down here on the button. They're slowly upgrading that shit. And it's nice to see. Like now it kind of looks like a TikToker's bedroom. You know what I mean? It's fire. I'm good. I'm Mac. Mac. What's with the gloves? What are those? They look like latex gloves. That's so sketchy. All right. And if you wouldn't just, if you wouldn't mind just fucking whoosh. <laughs> Nothing. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I like your red. Thank you, I like your hat. Appreciate you. Yeah, are you into fashion? Yeah. Look what he's wearing on his hands. The gloves? I got I got frostbite in my fingers from snowboarding a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's only on this hand. Are you comfortable showing us? Do you want to see it? Sure. The skin has been peeled off. Oh, it's not as bad. It's almost like a burn. Embarrassing facts about Lillian. She hey. ate her poop when she was <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, like, it's kind of just, it kind of looks like a eight. Yeah, but talk about when you ate your poop, you little freak. That, I don't know why that hit me so hard. That was crazy. <laughs> she ate her poop. Why would you write that on the sheet? Never tell anyone that. What are we talking? You pick up a log? Did you pick up a log and f fucking bite into that thing like a corn dog? I need to know. He forget that. Story. Mac shared with us that he has a lot of female friends. Is that a deal breaker for you? How do you yeah. hold your boundaries with your female friends? Um, I'm not really hiding any secrets or no. anything like that. Have you ever hooked up with one of those friends? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but it was like first meet. Sorry. No. Bye. Goodbye. Enjoy your pizza. <laughs> What are you laughing about? <laughs> when you first walked in with the gloves, I just. Damn! Damn. Damn. Hey, but we got them. Yeah. 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 All right, boys, who's down to get their cavities searched, huh? Why do you think I brought these gloves? Really nice to meet you. My name's Enrique. Enrique? Yeah. Cool. Wow, I love your nose ring. Thank you. Enrique, okay, can you ask Lillian, what do you find sexy about me? <sighs> about the. the Guy voicing the button? Please ask each other what you find so sexy about my voice. <laughs> what do you find sexy about me? Um, you have a really nice voice. So Lillian wrote down. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. What a what a devastating answer. The voice? Out of everything you picked the voice? Nothing physically. <laughs> Nothing I can see, at least. But like, what from what I can hear, you're pretty. You're pretty. It's like it's giving Pete Davidson. Turn on is someone's voice. You do love when you say something sexy to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to eat some of your poop, baby girl. <laughs> let me get, let me get a turd. I'm pop that turd in my mouth. Fucking chewing that thing like a milk dud. Mm. <laughs> Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Oh, that was cute. Oh, that was yeah. cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just not really attracted to you. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just what you're wearing right now. Okay. okay. Yeah.
That was just way too honest. Didn't have to be that honest, dude. That was crazy. He, like, couldn't help himself. So you're just, I fucking, I just think you're ugly. Sorry, I just hate your clothes. But I don't like what you're wearing. I know. Good luck. It was nice meeting you, though. Good luck. Oh, no. no! It's okay. Girl, it's you okay. Gotta tell us about no, no. I, oh. I just couldn't get to it first. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with something. Enrique, Frankie's never been in a relationship. How do you feel about that? Right. Uh. I'm sorry, Frankie. Oh. She didn't say a single word. Wow. Thank you. Hey. Hi. <laughs> she didn't say one thing. <laughs> she just said thank you. That's it. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you like to do for fun? I'm a dancer, so I'm usually dancing. Enrique, can you dance? No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't dance. Show no. Something. Why don't you guys get up? Yeah, show me a little bit. Show, show you a little. Like I, I just, I, I can't <laughs> dance. Let her teach you. Mind <laughs> teaching me? Sure. Sure. Step and you kick her. Oh, uh, my man is a short king. Out. Step. Kick. Kick. Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't vibing with you. That's no, that's fair. That's no, fair. you seem really sweet, though. <laughs> this guy is brutal, man. Hey, man, you know, just because you're a short king doesn't mean you can't have standards, you know? He is, I think he's being a little bit too critical, though, right now. I'm just not vibing with you. <laughs> His honesty, the, the no filter is crazy. I mean, that's what this show is about, but it's just funny. Just people are usually like more timid about it. I just, I, uh, you know, I, yeah, yeah. It just feels like a friend thing. You know what I'm saying? He's just, I'm not, I'm just not vibing with you to be honest. To be honest, I really do not fuck with what you're wearing. I think your clothes like suck super ass. That kid's, is he still in Cutthroat. Oh my God, bro. Uh, that kid is like literally a oh Come on, 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 come Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. I'm you... Fumi. Let's get into a deep question. Can you ask her, are you lonely? Are you lonely? No. <laughs> I'm pretty content. Okay, when was your last breakup and how did it end? I would say 2020. We just weren't compatible, so we just broke up. Okay. Yeah. How uh, about you? Just got out of a two-year relationship. Oh, wow. Enrique, what did you do? Get into it, get deep. Get, get into it? Yeah. Okay, she's just a little too clingy, so... Okay. I just had to break, break it off and kind of... Well, hate that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. So, uh, why? Clingy is okay, but if you truly love someone you're in the relationship for two years, that's kind of a hard, <laughs> harsh way to break up with yeah. someone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck, Tom Holland is there. Oh my god. You're a villain right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo -hoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Guys, this is the real prize, okay? <laughs> What's your name? Fumi. Fumi, nice to meet you. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. Michael said, I don't know if I'll ever love a woman as much as <laughs> I love soccer. Uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, so I start, so I was just like, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You like soccer? Um, it's great sports, but no, I would like someone that focuses on priorities, but I would be yeah, above yeah. sports. Uh, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> so what's your name? I'm Fumi. My name is Adian. Fumi. Fumi once, shame on you. Fumi twice. Shame on me. That's the line that the dude should have. That's what the dude should have said. That would have worked. I'm sure she's never heard that before. To share something. Yes. Ariane has never been kissed. Oh my goodness, oh, really? Lord. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I think that's really sweet. How wonderful would it be if Ariane had his first kiss here oh, on what? camera? You should save it for the like perfect person. You <laughs> yeah, it's it for good. So it's long. good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's like, Tot yeah, totally, totally. I wasn't just like super down for that right now. Yeah, yeah, no, no, perfect person. You're right. You're totally right. Of course, of course. Unless Fumi wants. <laughs> no pressure, yeah. dude. Yeah, so. Ryan, if you want, I'll kiss you. I can kiss the. <laughs> I'm allowed to kiss can the button. Kiss the button. Yeah. yeah, you can kiss me. Uh, <laughs> your first kiss. Wow. It's getting kind of raunchy. Got to slap a PG rating on this one. Holy fuck. He's got the first base. That was Yay. the button. Nice. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. Fumi is laying down the band hammer. It's, it's good. It's good. Yeah. No, I've, I've taken a long time to get my first kiss. Oh, 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 they don't be dirty on this dude. one. They're like, by the way, he's never kissed anyone, and she's like, it's over. No! Dude, imagine having your first kiss on the button though. I feel like maybe you'd regret that. 
I feel like Fumi was right to be like, ah, oh, maybe you should wait. Because I don't, maybe, I mean, it's a good story, but at the same time, it's like, it's like you're in this, like, sterile, like, soundstage lights. I bet afterwards you'd feel like, oh, that's it. And then you're just like, <laughs> and then you're like, your first kiss is just immortalized on YouTube. <laughs> I'm Eric. I'm Fumi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Eric, what's your idea of romance? I love like the classic like dinner dates fun. Yeah. But I think it's fun to like spice it up where you like dress up and yeah. go somewhere like kinda nice. Eric gets attached to people really fast. Are you attached to her already? <laughs> not yet, not that fast. <laughs> Am I your type? Um <laughs> Nope! Wow, it's so cute. <laughs> Hold each other's hands if you both are comfortable with that. Okay. I want you to say you love each other. Oh, cheesiest episode of The Button. Because of the freaking pizza. Ah, you guys are good. I'll give you that. <laughs> I can say what it. Mean, I, I, love ready. I love you. I'll say it in Spanish so I feel like it's not real. <laughs> uh, te amo. But say it like you mean it. You say it like you mean it. Te amo, mi amor. <laughs> Why are you two still holding hands? You didn't I say mean, yeah, you didn't say stop, like... Do whatever you want. Okay, fine, then. Okay. Sorry, no, that wasn't to you. Like, I wasn't like, you know... <laughs> Ouch! I think you're very sweet. Yeah, I just don't think we're, like, compatible that yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just honestly not vibing with you. I'm not into your looks or your personality. That's it. That's it. Everything else is good. Thank Goodbye. you. Bye. Bye. Have a good it was one. nice to meet you. Good luck. What do you want out of a partner? I think someone who wants me, that would be nice for a change. It just feels like they're, maybe they're not always ready, you know, for me. I get it. Hi. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Howdy. Name's Matthew. Nice to meet you. Your vibe is interesting. Matthew likes a girl who makes the first move. Are you that type? Definitely. Act out a pickup line. Just approach him. <laughs> and he's in this outfit? Like, this is his fit? This is the usual fit. Yeah. I'm going out, too. <laughs> okay. I'm going out. This is what we wear. What is this vibe? It's like emo cowboy. Like the, the cowboy hat with the gauges is a crazy combination. With the long hair, it's like it's like a fucking. I'm on. I'm from Montana, but I'm a tattoo artist. Are you a parking ticket? Because you have fine written all over you. Not a bad one. Damn! Wow! It's I not about you. So all righty. Bye. Bye, take care. Thank you. Oh, did you buzz anyone? I didn't buzz nobody. Like, as soon as it, boom, I was like, yo. Hi. Hi, I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. I'm Lakaya. Hey, Lakaya, you've rejected a lot of people. So I think in this date, if I turn red and you want out, you can reject yourself out. <laughs> My sister just said not to be a jerk, so. That's She's real. Well, I have a fun fact about Jason. <laughs> uh, Jason once went on a date with a married woman. Oh yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know. We like Tinder match, and then like we went to the drive-in. We're on the date, and she's like on her phone the whole time. It's, was she texting her husband? She was like, it's my ex-husband. Then like afterwards, she was like, oh, I wanna see you again, I said no. And then it wasn't until like a year later, I was like talking with one of my buddies, and I was like, oh my God, you work at the same place as her, like do you know this girl? And he was like, yeah dude, like she's got the kid. I was like, what? Oh my God, how, to, what? How the fuck, I don't even, like that's crazy that you would not only cheat on your, your spouse and the parent of your child, but on Tinder? <laughs> like, not only are you cheating, which is horrible, shouldn't do that, but you're also asking to like get caught on Tinder. That's, that is fucking crazy. So you can do that. I really like talking to you though. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't see it going nice. anywhere romantic. Wait, you're rejecting yourself? Yeah. Enjoy your pizza. Good to meet you. <laughs> I'll see ya. <you. laughs> Do you think you're gonna find someone here today? I hope I find somebody. That'd be kind of fun. My mom's greatest fear is she called me yesterday and she was like, what if you fall in love with her and she lives so far away? Your mom sounds so sweet. Are you close with her? Yeah, I have two moms and they're great, so. Hi, what's your name? Anika, nice to meet Anika, you. nice to meet you, I'm Jason. Can I ask you like a theoretical question? Yeah. Like, if you could have two houses like in anywhere in the world, where would they be? Okay, definitely Hawaii. The other, California. Easy. Where in California? I'm from California. No, so that's where California. are you from? I'm from San Luis Obispo. Then that place. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you heard of San Luis no, Obispo? No, no, no. Like, it's like a really thing. cute little beach town. It's kind of country. He has gone to a nudist retreat. 
Wait, what did? Oh. I knew this for true. He I, likes to get naked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went. I so I lived in a house with like 13 people and my uh, like roommates. They were like, we love to like go to nudist retreats. So like we all went together as a house. As we were going into it, we were like, are you getting naked? Like, but like everybody got well, naked. Well, it's not a question. Well, you could like wear drawers if you want. You know, or, like, okay. A, a, so you call suit. it drawers? Like like you know board shorts. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is a nudist retreat? Like, is that just like a nude beach or are you going on a, like a trip with these people? <laughs> just like a camping trip into the forest but you have to be naked the whole time? Is that what a nudist retreat is? Everyone's just chilling with fucking, they're wearing leafs like Adam and Eve, you know? Post it up for a few days in the mountains with your naked boys with their hogs out. Fun fact about her, she fully peed her pants at work. Why did you tell them that? It's just like, it just like happened. Like my coworker yeah. said something really, really funny. I was like wearing beige pants. I peed, you could see everything. Had to go to the bathroom, take them off. That sucks. Wash Where do you them work? Missing. I work in tech. It's you like, probably... you know when you like pee your pants at school and then you have to take like a half. They're definitely getting along. Day? Yeah. Me, but in like the corporate environment. But like at least you're in tech. Cause my coworkers, if that happened to me, they're like, yeah, dude, you still have like four hours left. That kind of sucks. So when was your last breakup? <laughs> so I haven't really been in a relationship for I think like Two years? Yeah, like me too. Like what if she's like, I'm actually married. <laughs> my last breakup, I mean, I've been married for a while, so, uh, I mean, my last one was like a long time ago. They need to do a married episode of The Button. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> All married people that want to cheat on their spouse, that is fucking horrible. That is a horrible, horrible idea. But if you're on fucking Tinder, you'd probably do this. So maybe they should go find all those conniving fucks, put them on this show. I'd watch that. One of those things that kept ending to where like the last ending wasn't like a significant thing. It was just like another, I know okay, we're gonna like break up again. But like this time it's for good. Do you think your date is sweet or spicy? You're sweet, but you could be spicy. You know what I mean? You're a topping on a pizza, what would you be? Have you had the white sauce pizza? Yeah, I love that. With I love that. bacon. With garlic, no. It's, I'm, I'm just bacon on what half. I like. Yeah, yeah, you're right, like... you're right, you're right. He's like white sauce pizza with, uh, with what, bacon? Bacon. And I'm uh, cheese. <laughs> I'm seeing something really fun here. Are you two attracted to each other? Yeah, I'd say so. I think so too, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna light up red one last time. Here we go. Congratulations, you. Congrats. I'm, I'm so, so, so happy for you guys. Enjoy the date. That was nice. That was nice to watch. I feel like it wasn't like crazy conversation. It was very first date, but that's what this is about, you know? I wouldn't say their connection was anything too... As a, as a connection analyst, I would give it a strong six and a half out of ten. But maybe they went on a date, maybe it was good. And that's all we can hope. Please like this video for me and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Home. I'm on the dance floor till I'm all alone. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. What a what a devastating answer. The voice out of everything you picked the voice. Let's go. Hold it down till the till the club is closed. Oh.